Okay, I'm reloaded. We got London on the Tell track. me, do you know the feeling? Oh, oh, oh. Tell me, do you know the feeling? Oh, oh, oh. You look up and you ain't got no feeling. Oh, me in a Lambo? You look down, nah. You look down, you look down, Hey, what's up, guys? One of my buildings fell last night, so I gotta go check it out. One second. Get over here! Let's go meet my construction workers over there. Let's go. Yeah, move all this shit up, though. Move out, out the way. Yo, you gotta move. I'm gonna bring it back here, because I gotta pull out. Okay. You know what's crazy? That I was sitting there dancing because you know I, I was watching this um this priest dance. You know, like Jesus Christ, we love you, God. And I found that shit so funny. It, uh, you can look it up on, on YouTube. It's like called uh what is it? A uh, priest cholo or something? And let me tell you how ironic this is. And I never speak about religion because, you know, it just isn't good. Politics and religion isn't good to talk about because you're always wrong. But anyway, for the last few days, I've just been laughing, dancing. We love you, God. <laughs> and I just thought it was funny, you know, like, you know, because everybody worships well, whoever they worship differently. So this guy's, you know, break dancing. We lo love you, God. Jesus Christ! And I thought it was funny as hell. So yesterday it was rainstorming and stuff, and I'm over here dancing in the car. We love you, good. Two hours later, my fucking building gets struck with lightning, and my building goes down. I was like, yo, I would never, I would never make fun of you again, God. <laughs> Swear to God. But you know what? I think this was a testament, or this was a test that God put me through, because I always practice. Listen, don't stress out about things you can't control in life. That's one of my things that I always preach. Don't, don't get pissed. You know, you can't if you can't control something in life. There's nothing you can really do. There's no point of stressing yourself out. There's no point of like you know of, of hurting when you can't control something. And this is one of the things that happened to me. And I think I guess this guy was like, let, let, let's see if you practice what you preach. And when I heard the news, I just laughed. I'm like, hey, fuck it. You know, we gotta fix it. But there's nothing that like. And you don't understand how, how you shorten your life out when you sit there and, and you stress out about things like this. Oh, my God. I, I mean, yeah, I got the money to pay for the building, to redo the whole building. Yeah, yeah. But if I didn't, maybe I would be stressing. But at the end of the day, it's like sometimes life throws you curveballs. You know what I'm saying? You just got to sit on them and wait for a strike to come down the middle and smack that bitch out the park. So this is one of those things I'm like... I sat on the toilet. I was taking the shit, by the way. And I was like, God, you funny as hell. It, 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 I couldn't do nothing but laugh. It was it was just a funny thing, you know? And this is just a testament to those things. You, if you can't control something in life, just, just leave it up to whoever you believe in. You know? The higher power will always take care of everything. And, and that's facts. And that's true. So, yeah. I'm about to go check this out now. Um, I did one of the videos um, a few a few uh, vlogs ago where I was doing a little house, and it's it's ready for rough inspection. Rough inspection means that you know all the electrics are ready in, the plumbing's in, um, HVAC's ready in. So this house in particular is ready for rough inspection. So we're gonna go check this house out again. I checked it out the, the first time. You see my two guys from Bay Constructions. Um, they're not reloaded constructions, but these are other guys that I hired to get more properties going along So we're gonna go check that little house out. It's ready for rough inspection I'm gonna meet him actually at the building that my whole roof caved in and got struck by lightning 
This is actually a nightclub that was opening this year. And this is going to set it back. But everything happens for a reason. And I'm telling you, everything happens for a reason. So, let's go. Huh? No, believe it or not, dude. Like, I would have this place closed down for renovations. Because I'm opening another club. Yeah, and this should just... I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to just redo the whole thing. My whole exterior wall is collapsing. So... That ain't this fucking building. Nah, they're gonna, they gonna knock the whole thing down. Huh? Oh, they gonna make it safe. Yeah, we just gotta make it safe for now. That's it. He's gonna, um. So basically, if this is not fixed by tomorrow, they're gonna come and knock the whole thing down. That's what, that's what he said? You don't want that for it. The city. They double it, bro. My boy just went for it. So if it's not fixed by tomorrow, they're gonna knock it down? Made safe. It's not made Which safe. Which you fucking my shit up, bro. I'm supposed to be heading down the shore. But it's cool. I'm gonna stick around make sure. I got you. You know, I got you. We're about to go inside the building real quick. Now this building, it was just about to get under construction. And as you see, you look up. The back half of my building collapsed in. But these are, the, these are the things that happen, you know what I mean? So we're gonna make this shit work and open this thing back up so we can fucking party. Now I'm gonna walk to the other side, look. I'm gonna show you right here. The building stops right here. So that's new, that's how. You see it? Oh, yeah. That's new. Then now, look at this. I, oh. just put, I just put sprinkler systems in here. They cost me like almost 80 grand. Oh my God. This was us with the engineer. That's the water all the way down. Holy crap. Hey, watch this, look. Dude, that shit got shook. It broke this. It shook this all down. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm out of here, bro. This ain't sick. I want you to see it upstairs, bro. You go with digital. <clears throat> Look at the water. So then the water got backed up in the kitchen. Look. So the kitchen's flooded. Oh, shit. It knocked the fucking sheetrock down from when it fell. So all this happened last night. Yep. Come on. Yeah. I can't miss this. Don't go past that beam. That's a separate building over there. This building is supported up until this beam. To here. You hear it still creaking? I had problems, I had to fix them. I was broke, I had to get it. Then have a charge and how I'm living. Ain't no option where I'm from. Ain't too many options where I'm from. Selling drugs or shooting guns. I'm fortunate, but you the chosen one. 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 Bro, I'm fortunate, and now I'm the chosen one. I got some niggas that roll for some. I got some niggas that roll for some. For real? I don't have no more now with no purpose. But the thing is, is I need to get the drawing for the base of ASAP. They want us to get the permit by Tuesday at the latest. So, 
we need to remove whatever we got to remove to make this building safe, which, I mean, you know, you could determine. But I'm thinking as long as we remove four or five feet of this side and the back side, and then you can look at the other side from the outside, and then we'll go inside. Can we go up there? Yeah, come on. Five feet on this side. You gotta come down to where the crack is. On this side? Yeah. Okay. And then on this side, you think we could come down to the roof, to that escape roof, or do we have to come lower? I think if we come down to that escape roof, that'll at least take the pressure off of it. No, you've got to come, you see? See how the crack is on that's opening up there? Down here? Yeah. Yeah. And you see where the roof is over there? That's yeah. tilted over? Uh huh. That technically is holding that up from coming over. Right, so, so that part leaning out, I can take that down. Do we have to take down lower than that? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Yeah. 15? Huh? 15. Yeah. Yo, good there, Bob. I don't Look, I got a pretty high reach. Hey, I'm not shit. making it. He just told me 15. I ain't making no money on it. No, he not making it. Bro, bro, I got you. Bro. Yeah, you know. He's a good man. He's a good man. If there's another person going to say, oh, 18, nah, and you know. I do a lot of work for him, bro. We're uh, good people. Uh, we're good. I'll write you a check. I'll write you for 18. You can make something off that. It's all good. Yeah, see? That's, when you be a nice, nice guy, that's when you. Yeah, I, then I, I do a lot of work for you. Yo, are you ready? ready? That's just dangerous too, look. It don't happen that way, my brother. Nah. It should be that way, though. No, it don't happen that way. <laughs> they, should have, they should have a unit over there that says pay triple the violation and we'll get it done in a week. Nah, it don't happen that way. No, no, that's be, stupid. Life is easy, but not that easy. It'll be a 21 day review. Yeah. I can't expedite a remodel. That right, nigga still. Alright, but look. They can still fill it. Sure this guy's right. made here. We'll get started. Yeah, the other stuff? Right. No, no, you did. No, nah, this will be alright. We'll just once he says it's good. Alright, because we're only you know, doing the original. You know, we're not doing no extra. Bastards. Oh! Uh, it's going up on the second floor. It's like crack, crack, crack. I'm saying, fuck. The wires were the only thing I opened up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I said that when we started taking the wires off my desk. Holy shit. Are right, you ready to go up there? Yeah, we can run up there real quick. Cool. I got to, uh... She knows about the shore, but she doesn't know in detail about how bad it really was. I was doing better, you know. But, um... But I'm pulling up to this meeting now, so let me give you a call back when I get out of here. Alright, okay, battle the three inches. Yeah, text me this code too, so I can run through it later. I ain't gonna lie, I kinda like that brass shit. The black? Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. Oh, this is way different. Yep. <laughs> so this is my nice side bedroom. Oh, you leave the bedroom back here now? No, you're gonna leave the bedroom here, and then you can use this for like your entertainment, you know, whatever you want to do, entertainment area, you know. So where the bedroom at? It, you can use it either here or there, whatever you want to do. Yeah. I can't. You can't close it. Yeah. It's okay. You know what I mean? All right. Um, then we did, you know, we finished all the. That's a nice size. That's a nice size. You know, we gave you the shower. But this is a nice size. Yeah, it's not, you know. And then I need this whole side here. For, uh, for your mechanicals, so you got the heater, hot water heater, hot electric water. panel, all that shit. But it allowed us to keep this all open. This is actually really nice. It is nice, actually, right? Yeah, it came out pretty good. All right, you got good space. You know, now you got the full bath down here and all that. So, you know, we put hi hats. You know, Our right house is gonna rent for a few dollars. <clears throat> yeah, you'll get good right up here. So we got all your, you know, wiring in for your kitchen layout. You have your stove there, uh, sink, dishwasher, fridge. He came here the other day. I need it done before we sheetrock. All right, I'll have him do it quick. Yeah, look, we have to get. I think it ain't gonna cost too much. Like, um, six hundred bucks. We have electric schedule the inspection for Tuesday, and then I'm gonna get the building right after. We're gonna insulate it and sheetrock it. So right. I want to get the roof on before it rains again, and we got sheetrock in here. All right, perfect. You know. It ain't a bad layout once it's all framed though. No, it's not. 
No, nah, downstairs works nice. I know once you guys finish, I'm coming. I'm gonna come and do LED. That's why just give me an exact measurement of where that wire is at. It ties into Well, you'll be able to get up in there from that. Oh, okay, from that yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, so you can right, drop perfect. down. I'll even leave you, like, I'll leave you a 20 amp, cert, like, a feed up there. I'll put it in a junction box and you can just tie into it. All right, that's all I need. Yeah, I'll do all the, the molding, the crown molding and shit. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll just, I'll paint it, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Done, and then you can do add whatever you want to have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you have to. Carry well, he the wants us to pocket the column into the new wall we're putting up. Yeah, so you won't need a beam in the back side. You just need a beam in the middle and then a beam in the beginning. Okay. Oh, and Adam, I'm doing it because now Adam, I want you to put fucking put the the shit here and then hold it up with two by fours and shit. No, that from the first floor all well, the way no, up. This has to be a metal beam, so that has to be. It's got to be pocketed. We're gonna in pocket it in the new center block wall. Oh, okay, okay. And then I think what he's gonna do is I'll wait for his drawing to come back, but he's probably gonna spec. That's a 14 inch I-beam there now in the existing part. We're probably gonna do a 14 inch extension and then he's probably, they're gonna probably want to weld it. So we're probably gonna have to weld to the old beam too. So it, it's Oh yeah, the old beam is there? Yeah, 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 yeah. But June said something about you want to open the first floor up. There's a beam. I know there is. And if we did the, the structural work that'll be involved with us having to carry both loads, we'd have to go down to the basement, underpin, like it's a lot. You have to open that up. And the thing is that that basement was ready. And Listen, that basement one of those was, was backfilled. No, that basement was perfect. Backfilled it with nothing but dirt. Yeah. 14, like, I'm talking about almost 80 feet long, 12 feet high. The, the and just backfilled it. They filled it up and just did a slab over it. And the dude Ed who owned the building before that, it was fucking perfect. I'm talking about he had the walls up, everything. Because I've seen a place when they had nothing. Well, we'll just have to get, you know, whatever the beam the engineer specs for, we'll get that installed. And then we'll build the roof on top of that. All right. So hopefully, the L and I inspector was cool though. He said that if we get the report to him Monday, submit to the city, get the permit, he'll clear the report right away, and then we can submit right away. So I'll be able to submit Tuesday to build it back up. You know, it's 21 day review, but I'll wire it up. Yeah, it's a ring doorbell. You know, some fucking super rings. Yeah, you don't need you don't even need a wire for that. No, nah, I don't like the light. The other ones you gotta take them in the house and charge them every couple days. No, you don't have no. They make another one now where it's solar. You just put a thing above it and it constantly charges it. For real? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I see that at Lowe's. You gonna drive my truck? I'll drive this. Huh? Want to switch? Why not switch? You ain't getting up in there. Okay. Nah, my truck dirty as fuck. You ain't getting in there. Get, 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 get the fuck out of here. Go. Bro, you ain't getting in my truck. Damn, this shit's high as hell. <laughs> my god. God. Holy shit. Where's where the fuck is T D at? <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking big as shit. I can't, I can't even fucking drive this thing. He keep these little cars, I'll keep my truck. It's too fucking small for me, bro. I'm good. Like you on the ground, right? Yeah, like I'm sitting on the fucking floor. They, they are fast. Every time you make a turn, depends on what time you decide you turn, the, the seat moves on each side. Do you feel that on that side too? Yeah. It's not just the driver? No, it's, it's both seats. It's all seats. That's pretty sick. Is your first time driving one of these? Yup, this model. I've driven tons of them. I used to race cars, but trucks. I need a big truck. Fuck that shit. <laughs> that shit. That shit going crazy. I know it is, bro. Shit, I get back to fitting in a few days, bro. We need to sit down and chop game, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Well, how you doing? Oh, yo, you still out there? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in LA right now, but I get back. I was just showing my nigga when you when you bought that uh, you bought that Hellcat now Lamborghini. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just got another Lambo. I got two Lambos in a week. Yo, Elmer, Elmer been talking a lot about you, man. You gotta stop by. Hey right, man, just let me hold, let me hold the whip when I get back, bro. You know I'm, I'm good for it. <laughs> let me know when you get back, bro. I'm coming to pull down on you, nigga. Hey, we, we need to run, bro, bro, some four wheelers and shit too, man. Yeah, that's what Elmer was talking about. The boy who owned DHY. He, you, um, he sold you the transformer truck. I already know, 
already know that's my guy. He told me he was out there, but I went out there. Yeah, I've been with him the last few days, man, because we live right next to each other. Man, I'm pulling up, nigga. All right, bet. All right, bro. We gonna holler. All right, bro. It's my guy. Look at that. Even Eagles players watch my stuff. My guy. I'm about to head my ass home. Go meet up with uh, Elmer. Go look at some damn trailers real quick. Cause I'm, I'm trying to vlog in every single city in the United States. That's my next mission. I want to travel to every city in the United States. And then, then we'll guess when we get bored, we'll take it across the world. Let's go. My boy came from LA with his kids, oh, his God. wife. Ooh. Watch out now. <laughs> oh, look at that chicken, dude. Can you just take that whole piece of thing? Holy crap. Mm -hmm. That thing like just came out the cow. Yes, sir. Ooh, whoa. Recording. No, God, God. You're not even coming like this, man. You fucked up. It's almost better than dark. <laughs> so how you feel? Right now? Yeah. Um, I feel today. I feel fucking all right, man. But I'm still stuck. I'm grieving. Uh, a year later, I started grieving after I relapsed, man. And uh, grief is something that's real powerful, so especially for a person in recovery. And I didn't understand the power of grieving because I, I never lost a twin before. First time ever. So I didn't know how to attack this shit, man. I thought I just needed to. Well, he says twin, my brother Christian. Yeah. So um, you know, so I, you know, I was showing up. I showed up for life, man. I stayed sober for the longest after he died. I got to see my own wake. I started showing up to life. Got my daughter back. Got everything back in life, man. God provided what I couldn't provide for myself through my brother's death. And then Alexi went out, and uh, that was a different kind of death. Alexi's my my other brother who just got killed January fifth, two thousand nineteen. Yeah. So when he died, it was a different death because it took his life. So the gangster, the jungle came out of me. I wanted to become homicidal, suicidal, all that fake shit. But I ended up grieving through that. But it all caught back up to me a couple of weeks ago. I went to Vegas, came back. I was living life, man. I was killing it. Came to Omi's, man. I was taking care after my father died. I was there for him. Buried him. Everything. Went back home. Killed the whole week. And a bad decision. My ego and my pride. Because I'm sober. Look what I got. My ego and my pride. Pulled over next to a dude. Like, yo, nigga, look what I got because I'm sober. Let me give you a ride. And the kid was like, Don't yeah. fall under peer pressure for nobody. No, no, no. And no, I'm just talking to them. Yeah, yeah. So I gave a person a ride. He, was, he said he was going to get some drugs. And I said, man, there's a better way. Look at my car. You know, the better way to stay sober, all that fake shit. <laughs> and uh, I dropped him off. And uh, I dropped him off. And for the first time, the obsession, I'm going to pick up a drink or a drug with my kids. Made sense. Uh... I knew that if I picked up a drink or a drug, that I might die. I knew that if I picked up a drink or a drug, that um, that uh, that I'll hurt my wife and everything. And I knew that, and I was defenseless against that shit because I wasn't taking care of my spiritual condition, being honest of who I am. That I was overwhelmed burying my father. You know, I didn't talk more about what was really going up. I was just showing up to life and killing it. And that was that was fake. So because of that, I relapsed. Because of that, that Friday. I tried to commit suicide, I overdosed, and they brought me back. And um, when, I, when, I, when I, I never, I'm a type of guy that'll never kill myself, man. But uh, that night, it felt, I felt okay because of the pain. Once I put that needle on my arm, Christian's grieving came back, my twin brother, Alexi, the pain. My disease told me I was a piece of shit. My disease told me it's a good idea to go get a drink and a drug today, Antoine, because you're doing good. Then once I picked that drink and the drug up, my, di my disease told me I was a piece of shit. That's the kind of disease addiction is, man. It's a mental. And I went through a lot of shit and I didn't pick up no drink or a drug. My brother Omi was there for me. People were all there for me. It was my job to let my brother and family know that I was... I felt insecure about something. They're like, what do you mean? I don't know. I just fell off a little. And, and, and as a man that was provided for my family... I lost that, man. I lost that ability, ability to be honest. I just hope you stay uh, sober this time, man. Yeah, no, I really do. I know you do. You I'm, like I'm actually proud of you, though. Honestly. Yeah. No, seriously. Like, 
the last two years, only success, like you being successful, happy at the same time Christian passed away, you were seeing a high end, and I was also seeing a high end, but in recovery terms, for my brother. I was getting rich spiritually, while well, you were getting rich spiritually and the other way. And, um, you know, it was the last tough two years, man. But I realized that uh, when I come and hang out here, which is family, family's a shit. Let me tell you something, even though I get mad at the shit they say, they have my back, even though some of them are funny looking, like my brother, he has no kneecaps. <laughs> only. Only in a Hellcat, no kneecaps. How about that? <laughs> but, um, I learned how to be a brother losing their twin brother in uh, Mexico. So just keep faith. I just pray. think I'm, I'm a piece of shit, too. Why? Because I'm like, I'm too hard on people. No, you're afraid. You think so? Tell me, like, yo, you have an incredible fucking heart. So you know what happens to you when you, when you, yo, nigga, you're extreme. I don't meet a lot of people that have your kind of heart when you're on. But sometimes when your heart is because you're being, you don't want to be no more vulnerable. You, you got a good heart on Monday and Tuesday comes around, you don't want to be vulnerable two days in a row. Being, having a good heart means you're vulnerable. You're open to feel some pain. That's uncomfortable for niggas like, especially niggas like you, man. You're being successful. You got to be kind of hard. You got to be on point. But you're a good dude. Your family knows that. All right? You got a lot of distractions and you're, you still showed up for me, man. Because I know I'm annoying, nigga. I was here for a week bothering you. No, I, I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> but um, and the whole time, so when I relapsed and overdosed. I, like, no, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I kind of regretted not putting a camera in your face the whole week. Because when I, when I found out that you were missing... I was like, I just spent the whole week with him. It was amazing. Yeah. And he died. So why do you think I'm stuffing this camera in your face right now? So you say you don't got hope in me? But who cares? No, no, I got hope in you. I'm just saying, like, yeah. you know, the, the 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 what you're feeling right now, it's it's unique to this mo particular moment. You'll be feeling probably better or worse tomorrow. So what you're feeling now, your emotions, you'll never be able to grasp that feeling again today. That's, that's, you know, that's some fire shit. No, 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 real shit. Right, no. So you know what I mean? So I, I want I want you to look back at this video in two or three years when you're doing amazing, and you're like, look, my brother caught me at a vulnerable time when you're vulnerable. doing when you when you're when you're doing your speeches and shit like you always do. Yeah. And you not know? only that, you caught me at a time where I'm getting better, but I'm looking worse. <laughs> like I haven't slept. I've slept seven hours in five days, and these last five days, let me tell you something. I've been the strongest mentally. I made big decisions. I brought a guy up here for investment shit with me, man. But I still look like shit. His everything. friend, his friend owns like thirteen plant finishes yeah, and, and restaurants and everything. Yeah, so he's successful, but he loves me. This friend was there for me when I was in the gutter. Where he was he? Yeah, he's over there somewhere. Hey, Steve. He's actually hiding over there. Where? I know he truly loves me, man. He must must love you because he's obviously here. Hey, Steve, come here. <laughs> he looks like a fucking retired wrestler. Look at him. He looks like shut the fuck. <laughs> Yo, Steve, what up? Yeah. What is that? What's up? This is Steve, man. This is the guy that uh, that was like a brother and a father to me and my brother Christian, man. Unconditional love. When a white dude like this, let me tell you something. When a white guy like that shows up, right, and just tells you he loves you, and you have nothing to offer, I mean, that nigga's real or he's real gay. He's real dude. Wait, wait a minute. I'm I, done. But he was a real dude, man, because he proved it in time. Oh, I'm about to say, you guys, you guys actually did something together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying nothing else. No, I'm saying nothing else. But... Yeah, that's real. I, I hope you can look at this. Yeah, for real. It's yeah. actually pretty dope. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, buddy, real dude. Yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, I came in. Oh my god, my fucking. Huh? I came in, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm like driving up here, nigga. I'm like, oh my fucking god. I feel like shit. Look at my knees. Look at, look at my knees, nigga. They're weak. And I feel. Dude, so you got Walmart shirts on. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. Marshalls. Don't ever talk shit like that in front of the camera. I mean. <laughs> No, you got a little kid hat on. Who knows that? You know what this is? <laughs> oh, you're real. You're real hood. You know what this is? Patagonia. I know a little kid hat. What the hell is Patagonia? Oh my God, that's <laughs> some Philly shit. <laughs> you, you, you know what it is, Steve? Yeah. yeah no. How much? Look, tell them what you know Brand. about that hat? Huh? Oh wait. Oh wait, yo. You know what it is? Those hats are real expensive. You know what the problem is that you're so hood. Oh wait a minute, I'm not. It's not gold. You know what the problem is? My brother, it doesn't have gold on it. No. And he can't. <laughs> he can't <laughs> on that. Come on, man. This is that preppy shit, nigga. Where we from? So Steve owns like 13 plant of finishes. Look at this fucking guy. He, I'll tell you, <laughs> that. He, he doesn't work out in them. <laughs> he doesn't work out. <laughs> Every, everybody, everybody in plant of finishes got those extra large t-shirts. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. You can't, now. you can't, you, what's the policy there? You can't wear tank tops like that nope. in plant of finish? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it in mines. <laughs> Come here, West, West Springfield, Chicken Mass. Come in here, you can wear it. There's no hunkle or the hunkle on. Yo, put up. 
So damn, you're buying cars and shit now? What? You got a you got a rider club? Nigga, you were driving around in a baby scooter. Oh, these things are dope, man. Yo, do you know how dope you looked in that scooter when niggas were making doing willies? And you just you just came in with that. With your little cute helmet? Nigga, you stuck out more than the niggas are going 60 mile an hour, 65 miles an hour because of the fact that you were just like this with your fanny pack. And you had Cheetos in the front of your fucking scooter, nigga. <laughs> yo, home on. Nah, these are the best bikes ever. Yo. Really, really? 390 Dukes. Fucking Where'd, love them. Where'd you get them from? Huh? Bikes modified for the street, basically. Nah, this is actually like a motorcycle, but it's a small version. It's that big bikes you don't tend to have fun on. Smaller bikes that you can control like this, you tend to just have fun on them. <laughs> At least to me. This is a fun factor. A yeah, big bike, it ain't yeah. fun. <laughs> That's real. That's mad real, y'all. A big bike ain't fun to me. Yeah, so. Alright, guys, I'm sitting here folding clothes and stuff. I want to thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for watching. I mean, my brother went through a lot, you know. Things happen in life, guys, you know. Don't knock people down. When they're trying to get back up, you know? Because whatever you do could actually trickle them to go down. There's no excuses, but it's the truth. Oh, I'm tired. Building got knocked down. They're actually knocking it down now. So we can actually rebuild it back up. All in all, it's a good day. You know, good day. Good day. I can't complain, man. I want, I want the DHY. I bought another motorcycle. This one's like an automatic scooter. I'll show you guys tomorrow on the next one. But yeah, guys, you know, life sometimes take a take a toll on you, and it's fine. It's fine. Take it one day at a time. You guys got this. You got it. I'm only in the healthcare. I want to thank you guys for watching my vlogs. I appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate it. I really do from the bottom of my heart, and I want to keep sharing this journey with you guys. And I'm telling you, this is going to be so fun. This is just only the beginning. Only the beginning. Let's go.